Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. So welcome back. Um, if you saw my last video, I was using this translucent base coat over the top of a bunch of different primary element pigments. And after I did that, I took this 12 by 12 inch canvas and I dipped it right into the drippings from those two paintings. And I wanted to split this off into a separate video because I really, really loved this painting and how it came out. And I've always kind of liked the dip technique. Uh, for one, sometimes what's left on the plastic is really beautiful. And to kind of scrape it all together and turn it into mud is sometimes a little hard to do. And I just, I looked at the paint that was laying there and I thought it was really pretty. Um, and so I'm kind of just taking, at first I was scraping up the sides uh, to cover the sides, like scraping up paint. And then I kind of figured out here a little bit further into the painting just to dip the edge of the canvas into the paint as well. So it got this nice full coat. Um, and so this is my translucent pearl um, base coat. And I, I'll put the the video below that sh that links to much more information about that particular recipe. And then uh, the video right before this one is where I was using those pigments underneath it. So I'm not really going for pearls, but more for just this kind of really nice blending and bleeding uh, ethereal look. So, and then I've been loving High Flow by Gold. It's a golden product. So I liked this. I just didn't feel like it had quite enough going on. Um, so I, that's a quinacridone magenta High Flow and just kind of putting some of that down in a, in a diagonal. And I'm gonna add some um, iridescent gold high flow right there as well. And then from here, I just kind of blow it out in, well, I took the translucent base coat and the reason to put that on the edges of the line is just to give it more movement. So when I blow this with a blow dryer, it's gonna give it a lot more movement when I when I add the paint on either side and that it looks like white paint but it's iridescent so it does dry completely clear and then from there I'm just going to blow it and I loved this little painting I called it lily moon um, I just love the depth and the vibrancy of that magenta running through the center lines so I hope you like it um, check out my links below come support me in other ways and just being here is just wonderful i appreciate you so much uh yeah i'm on a family vacation right now so i'm recording from a beautiful little patio in sun valley idaho and uh yeah just feeling inspired and just enjoying nature and gondola rides and all these fun things um and i'm looking forward to getting back to my studio so i'll uh talk to you guys soon i hope you're having a beautiful day and do uh, always take great care. Okay, bye.